welcome back in this previous video of this series i haven't covered the effectiveness of extracting the surface features edges and refining them in snappy hex mesh so i i'll explain about this so you can see in this slide uh, on the left side we have very coarse and rough edges okay and on the other hand on the right uh, picture we have sharp but smooth edges so if we want to create like this we need to first uh, and extract the edges so it means in the in our STL file we have these edges and we need to extract the that data and tell snappy hex mesh to take care of their with uh, some refinements okay this feature is called surface features and uh, previously it was surface features extract but in the recent versions it became surface features so the command is surface features and the dic dictionary file is the surface features dictionary so what's inside such a dictionary let's see inside our surface features dict so this is the inside of our surface features and here is our the name of our STL and we can uh, adjust the include angle and it means uh, if we set it to zero it will select no edges and it will select 180 it will select all edges so it means uh, it will um, uh, it will uh, extract the data of these edges having uh, the angle up to 150 deg degrees okay and we can uh, set whether we want to extract the non-manifold edges and open edges okay so that's it about the surface feature stick so what is the effect of such uh, surface feature extract okay let's see so the command is surface uh, features okay and oops. so if we run this command it will generate uh, the features and it will write the files to here to two places in the try surface we can see the cylinder dot image created just now okay. and in the constants we also have extended feature at mesh here it's the egg uh, edges we uh, extracted so we can look at them like this and here we go so This is our STL file, and these are the features we uh, extracted. So, uh, if we uh, instruct Snappy Hex to take care of these edges, well, Snappy Hex mesh will take care of them. So, we need to uh, add this these lines in the features uh, part. So, this file name is the previous file name inside the try surface and we can set the level uh, how much level we want to uh, make it fine so without the feature ex surface features let's create a mesh without the surface features first we need to block mesh and snappy hex mesh it would take a little bit of time okay 
I haven't uh, prepared the mesh. Actually, I I prepared the mesh, but I rather um, create a new one. Okay. Okay. Now we have the mesh without the. Okay. Here we go. So we have really rough areas, and snappy hex mesh is bad at uh, taking care of these areas if we don't uh, instruct like this so with the fe surface features on I will run these commands again to generate the mesh Okay, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, now it's finished. So we can see here we go. We have much better edges, but still have we still have a little bit of uh, small defects. So let's go ahead and refine it like in three uh, maybe four okay let's crank to four okay maybe it's a bit too much but let's go ahead and see it'll take a bit of time i think so here we can see snappy hex uh, a refinement is now up to level 4 so these are the features okay just a moment please okay here we go now we're done so let's see the difference Okay. Mm, these edges are much better, but we have a little bit of these not so good areas. Actually, honestly, such areas are a little bit difficult to deal with, even with the uh, surface edges, and we may have still have some uh, problems. But here, our mesh is much better than before. Thank you very much for your time and see you later.